I'd show up on the last, like Manny Ramirez did that one year. I'd show up on the last day. I'd be like, I'm here. It's like 11.59. <clears throat> show up to camp and like take a selfie. And no one's, I came. No one was here. So everything with the facility was locked. What do you guys want me to do? See you next year, Naps. All right. So the other layer of this conversation I want to ask you guys about is the curious case of Steven Strasburg. <laughs> so Stras is done as a player. His major league career is over. Doctors have said this is done. Mark Zuckerman, who covers the team for Masson, said they still want him to report to spring training and mentor his teammates. They still have a locker for him. They've kept it for him. Also keep this in mind. Th this might be kind of nerdy inside baseball league, but you get a 40 man roster and teams covet all 40 of those spots in the off season. They have to leave a space open for Strasburg just to try and shove it to him and say, you need to show up to spring training. You know, like teams will make trades just to open up a spot. Like the Dodgers traded Caleb Ferguson to the Yankees. They had to open up a spot. Like every spot really counts. They, they want 40 talented players on that list. Strasburg's not playing. He has to be on the list till you get to spring training. Then they can put him on the 60 day. IL. The shit is deep. Did you see some of the quotes from Mike Rizzo? Talking about, yeah. I mean, they, they want him, they want him back. They understand he's not going to play baseball. To me, I feel like, I feel like this is an owner telling the GM, Hey, this is what we're going to do. We want to try to manipulate away. To me, it looks like a manipulate away out of this contract, which is not going to happen. But there no. must be some type of negotiation on the table because there was going to be a ceremony and everything last year. And then all of a sudden on Thursday, maybe they axed the Saturday ceremony. So there's more than we don't. There's more that we're not getting all the information. here. I'll tell you what's happening. They're pissed that a guy they signed. They're long being term, petty as fuck. They're being is what petty. They, are. they didn't <laughs> they're have insurance on him. They told him they'd do a ceremony and then they swept the rug from under him and said, just kidding. We're not doing that. But do you want to? tweak your contract and then we'll do the ceremony and he was like no they even took it in this story it says to the league and to the pa and the league and the pa said no there's nothing wrong here you need to figure it out if you want to try and get a settlement out of this players are never going to do that that's why there are guaranteed contracts but there's a lot of quotes here from mike rizzo i mean he said he's invited like every other guy on our 40-man roster he's got until february 24th to be here and yeah i expect him to be here he never went to west palm beach last year for spring training. Occasionally, he showed up at the park last season, but not on game days. And if you know Steven Strasburg, I mean, I've covered him for years, not a talker. And even with teammates, he's not mean. He's just, he's very quiet. He, he's shy. If you go up to him and you want to have a combo, like I think Josiah Gray said he had, cool, but he's not going to seek guys out. He's, he's not a future coach, okay? Let's put but, it that but, way. But by the way, like why do they, if he's disgruntled and he's injured, he does. Why would you want someone like that around, anyways? Like that's what I, the part of this I don't understand is. Listen, Steven Strasburg did one great thing for him. He won him. He helped win him the World Series in mm -hmm. 2019. Right. That was the one year where I mean, there was a couple other years, but that was the one year where he just balled out. Was healthy the whole year. Pitched a ton. They went on and rode him to the World Series. Him and Scherzer. Right. Howie Kendrick and, and some other, Soto and all. But they sure. won a World Series. Right. Great. But after that, he hasn't pitched what 30 innings. He signed a contract, so I pitched 31 innings or 30 whatever it is, 31 and two thirds. But why would you want this guy there? You know he's not going to pitch. Just let the guy retire, pay him off. I don't think it's insured. That's why they don't want that to happen. But why why, why make this? This is turning into just like a pissing contest that nobody's going to win from, except Steven Strasburg, who's just like, guess what? I ain't coming. You guys know I can't pitch, so just keep sending my checks as long as they clear. It's like the Nationals are trying to embarrass him. But he one, he doesn't talk to anybody in the media. And two, he doesn't care because those checks keep coming in every two weeks. He has to show up, though. I mean, Rizzo said, I'm not going to get into what our expect expectations of him are fully. But, yeah, be around. You're a legacy part of this franchise. Be here. Be accessible to young players. What a better guy for Cade Cavalli to lean on. Strauss has had the Tommy John, came back from TJ, pitched great after TJ. How do you rehab it? How do you prepare after rehab from it? So this guy's got a lot to offer a franchise beyond towing it up on the rubber. He's he still owed three he, years. But he doesn't 100. talk to people. He's, I mean, I asking you guys didn't play with him, but I've been around him a little bit. He doesn't talk to anybody. It's not like you want him going out there being like, Hey guys, this is how we tough through starts. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean that mean, I don't mean that rudely, but I mean, 
I know he had Tommy John. Listen, when he came up, he was the ultimate hype prospect of all time, right? And listen, he, again, he won a World Series. He did a lot of cool things. But this, this, if you're not happy in a place and they're forcing you to do this, I mean, it takes a special person when they're not happy to, to go in and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to help everybody on the team. Like you're, I'm, first of all, he's gonna be pissed. He lives in California. He's gonna have to go to Palm Beach. But that's that, not close to each other, dude. Like, there's people. I'll give you an example. Christian in the chat. The Nats are paying him thirty five million dollars to not play. The least he can do is show up to spring training. Mm -mm. No. Let me ask you this question: If he doesn't show up, what happens? Then there's problems. He's gonna have to show up. Him. The Nats are trying to. So build you just a have case. to show up and take a physical and prove you can't pitch. I think they just want to force him to be there as much as possible to try and convince him mm. that even if they save a million bucks or two, they feel like they've got to win. It, this is an ogre, an owner ego situation at this point, right? Yep. If you're an owner, you're pissed that you signed him and that you didn't get an insurance policy on it. I don't think insurance was passing him, right? And you want to get some type of win out of it just for your own personal satisfaction. That's what I think is happening here. They want him to say, you know what, uncle, I'm not coming. I don't want to be around this. This is not my style and I'm hurt. So I'll give you a couple million bucks back. And they'll go, ha ha, we did it. We win. That's what I think if is I'm happening. If I'm him and I'm Scott Boris, I'm like, nope. <laughs> give me all my money. Yeah. You guys say me. Oh, sure. You know, yeah, you know what? I'd go there. I'd go to the breakers for a few days. I'd show up be like, look, I can't lift my arm. Oh, I tried to throw. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pay me all my money. Thanks, guys. See you, see you next year in spring training. I think most guys – like, okay – because uh, I know what AJ would do. I know what I would do. I'm I'm a pain in the ass. Like, uh, let's let's get Todd Father, for example. What would you do if they're like, you have to show up, like, and, and you're hurt, and and you're done. Your playing career's over. Um, and let's say you're not as vocal as you are as a person. Like, would you go there and, and kind of, like, mope around and be like, fuck this shit until they gave up and said, okay, fine, go home? Yeah, I mean, you, I, I mean, I would go. That's for sure. If, if there was a problem, you'd have to go. Um what is there else for him to do? You know, you put your uniform on, put a baggie over your shirt, or don't even wear a uniform. Go out there and watch guys throw bullpens. All right, that was a good day. Eat some lunch and go on home. I don't know. what. What are, I just don't know. You could say whatever you want. But Rizzo's going to have to be like, hey, listen, this is what we expect from you. We're trying to do this every day. And you could be like, hey, listen, I'm here. That's what you got from me, bud. You got me until spring training, and um, I'm going to roam the streets, you know? <laughs> you know at the end of the, I can't throw, so we're, I'll go watch a little BP, maybe, you know, hang with the fans, sign some autographs, and call it a day. Yeah, I think that's what they want. To they, They're pushing him because they know how he is because he's an they introvert. Know his, they know his agent is too, right? Yes. Just checking. There, there's a good battle going on here. So to be continued, we'll see if he shows up. He has nine days to show up to camp. I'd show up on the last – like Manny Ramirez did that one year. I'd show up on the last day. I'd be like, I'm here. It's like 11.59. <clears throat> show up to camp and, like, take a selfie. No one's, I came. No one was here. Was, everything was – the facility was locked. What do you guys want me to do? See you next year, Nats. Didn't Ricky Henderson do that too? Did he? Uh, Manny, Remember Manny – like, the mandatory report date's, like, March 15th, and everyone shows up, like, February 15th. He showed up, like, March 15th. He's like, <laughs> this is mandatory report day. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're here every weekday, all year long, and we'd love for you to become part of our community. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy.